It's Saturday, the 9th of December, 2017, and it's been about a year and a half in the making. But what have we seen today, guys? How was it? Sam's not. <laughs> it is. I did. <laughs> um, it's been about a year and a half in the making. I am so excited. This is a trip booked to celebrate my birthday. We've gone through cancellations. We've gone through confusion of who's coming because our friend who we originally booked with moved to Australia. <laughs> a lot has changed in a year. Um, but we are here and I'm still outside the theatre and it's actually built and that's a good start. And <laughs> we are so excited. We are actually sat front row of the stalls and I don't think you understand how excited I am. Um, me and Tegan have been in the theatre before seeing Billy Elliot and we sat front row and she entered. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't with us there, um, but we have, me and Tegan have sat front row before and um, it, the stage is a little bit higher and I think it's about the same even though it's been revamped but we don't even care because it's still front row and it's um, the understudy of the alternate Hamilton um, debut because it's only the fourth preview today and it's his debut for the matinee so we are so excited. What's his name again? It was uh, Ash Hunter. Ash Hunter, yeah. So we're gonna, I'm really excited to see him because I feel like it'll be a really good atmosphere and whew, I, I, I wish I had butterflies in my tummy. <laughs> Also, the official email said to meet your friends due to a lack of pavement width <laughs> to meet them at Little Bend Island, which I guess this is. So, thank you, email. <laughs> We're in the first half, it's really insane, but it's about half past one, so it's about an hour and a half and the queue for March is ridiculous. It's good job we have an hour to spare because it might take that long. We thought it was a long queue, but then the point is like, no, it goes down the stairs as well. So it's probably going to be in this about an hour. I've programmed already because that's getting out from the bar, but I'm going to have to queue up for my t-shirt and mug, but it's worth it. <laughs> Almost an hour to get to the front of the merch stall, but we're almost there. We can do this. Do you feel like we're succeeding, Jade? Yes. It took us like an hour to get to the front of the merch stall, but oh well. <laughs> With about five minutes to spare, that's how crazy it was. How are you feeling, guys? We are like at the very front, and the stage is very high. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't even care. We can see it all. We can see it all, yeah, because. Um, last time we came here we saw Billy Elliot and obviously they're all children so that kind of made it a little harder to see them but they're all fully grown up. I'm just really excited to see the um, debut though for, for um, Hamilton. The view's actually perfect, like we're okay. My favourite is Lafayette. He's so amazing. He's amazing. Oh my god. And the Scala sisters, they are all amazing. I'm excited to hear him. Um, you can tell how much he's loving it. He's had the orange. He's got the cutest green on his face. Everyone like cheered when um, King George came out. <laughs> I had a sense that no one cheered when Hamilton came out. I know, I know, I know. 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 Thank you guys so much. <laughs> we are 
we're at stage door. We look a bit windswept, but that's kind of accurate right now. But we've got three minutes just to last. It's going well. We managed to meet Ash, who played um, Hamilton, Cleve as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I am back home and it's been a few days later and I felt like I definitely had to sit down and do a proper review, reflection and also give general information because I know a lot of people who have tickets for Hamilton London are a little bit stressed with the full like um, very complex ticketing system <laughs> so I felt like I definitely needed to sit down and talk through it all and I have a lot to say. <laughs> so unless you've been living under a rock for the past few months, I'm sure you've heard that Hamilton London sadly had to cancel the first two weeks of planned performances um, due to like a problem with the scheduling of getting the theatre ready in time. And I was affected by this and I'm not gonna lie, it was very stressful and heartbreaking um, because I signed up for pre-booking literally as soon as we could and that was, I believe it was summer last year and then eventually it was January this year when we actually got to do pre-booking and I was up ready early, like me and my friends were on the phone to each other like seeing like if we got anything in our basket and we were really lucky and got tickets for previews and our original day was going to be um, December 2nd and we were so excited but then obviously a few months ago we got told about all the problems and I have heard a lot of horror stories on the internet about people really not getting good alternate performances and having to wait months after but we were actually really lucky in that regard because when I um, selected my preferred dates I was like trying to be like quite smart about it so I thought right I'm gonna put the evening of December 8th the matinee of December 9th and the evening of December 9th like do it all in one weekend because that's the weekend we found out that me and my friends were all free for an alternate date and it worked because we got given the matinee so we were also really lucky because we got moved to front row and um I think technically speaking it's a restricted view like our original seats were not restricted view but technically because of the stage height and um, front row is restricted and I think that's why we probably got it um because they probably weren't selling those originally I, I believe I had a rumor about how they were reserving front row for lottery originally but obviously with the problems they've got to spread out people wherever so I don't even care because I knew I've been to the Victoria Palace the theatre before and I knew that front row, whilst it is definitely a high stage, it's, you're like close to the action and it's amazing because I saw Billy Elliot there from that view and um, it was way better this time because Billy Elliot, obviously, you've got all the children actors so with their height, if they stood quite far back on the stage, you literally could not maybe see them but with all the adult cast of Hamilton, like, there was literally like no scenes where I could not see anything. So from my experience, I can't really complain about the customer service with all the um, performance changes and stuff, even though I've heard of a horror stories and stuff but I must admit that I did not receive a confirmation email from Ticketmaster about um, my new confirmed seating and everything. I did not receive that until about two days before the performance and that was stressing me out because the only way that I could actually view my new performance was by going on my Ticketmaster account and it's still registered, it was still said on the Ticketmaster account December 2nd but when I clicked on print receipt it said December 9th and that's the reason I found out so I called and confirmed it all but I still had not received the email until a few days before but they really should have kind of updated the system properly because a few days ago I did check my Ticketmaster account and it actually registered my performance as a past event because it still said December 2nd so I couldn't actually view the receipt anymore or anything so it was lucky that I did get an email through eventually but yeah I think a lot of people never really got an official email like a new booking confirmation for the new performance which was quite bad but you know I, I managed to get in so <laughs> so speaking of the system to get in the email did um, recommend that we got there an hour before and obviously with bag checks and the um, checking of cards to make sure that you've like you're the correct person, you're, like, you, you were the person who made the purchase to go in. Um, we obviously listened to that and we ended up getting into the theatre really quick. We were definitely in there by quarter past one for the 2.30 performance. Um, so we whizzed through the queue. Um, I can't remember what order exactly, but basically they wanted to see some ID, so I showed my passport and then they wanted to see the card that I had paid with for the ticket, so I showed that and they scanned that with something on a machine and, I'm, and they must have like matched the name as well to see that it matched my passport. So it actually turned out to be really simple in the end and it was effective and obviously it's good because like you don't want people to resell tickets like for ridiculous amounts of money to fans and stuff and um, but I was concerned that I wasn't going to get a ticket because I was thinking I've waited this long I wanted to have like a ticket to frame <laughs> and they do give you seat slips and um, so we got given these we were um which actually is quite interesting because I have seen from photos that people who like book tickets at the box office or get returns are getting actual paper tickets like proper theatre tickets and um, which is a shame but I'm just happy that I got some form of like ticket slip seat slip whatever you want to call it so yeah a bit flimsy but <laughs> so once we got into the theatre we were like buzzing with excitement and I must admit the staff were actually like so helpful like probably like the best kind of 
theatre rusher in I've ever seen, which, <laughs> to be fair, they've probably had it drilled into their heads that a lot of people have had cancelled performances, make sure they're happy. <laughs> but no, they were really lovely. And when we entered, we got directed to where the merch was. So we thought, well, let's go get merch. Like, we obviously had all planned to get some, like, Hamilton merchandise, so we headed straight there. <laughs> and um, I'd seen photos and stuff online already, so I had an idea of what I wanted. And we thought, oh, there's about, we saw about 20 people in the queue, and we thought, oh, it's quite busy already, considering the show's not starting for another hour. We walk to find the end of the queue, <laughs> and it keeps going and going, round the corner, past the bar, near the toilets, and we was like, wow, this is the merch queue, and it's like only quarter past one. So that was pretty hectic. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Apparently only one computer was working, I believe. And when we finally got to the front, that computer crashed. So we panicked for a moment, but it was okay in the end. Um, but we were actually in the merch queue for about an hour. It was honestly something like I've never seen before. And um, they did pass down uh, copies of all the price list of the merch whilst you was waiting. So they kind of was helping to try and speed it along. So you can kind of plan what you want to buy and then quite quick when you get to the front. So me and my friend Jade actually ended up waiting in the queue for merch for an hour. It was actually hectic. Um, my friends, um, Tegan and Holly, didn't actually want to buy anything. So they gave up about 20 minutes in and thought they might as well go find their seat and everything. Um, but yeah, we ended up being getting into our seats for about 20 past two. <laughs> the show started at half two. So I had a chance to kind of sit down and like take it all in, like suss out the view and like, I actually had butterflies in my tummy, like, we had all been waiting so long for this, we were all such hardcore fans, and it was just, like, kind of unbelievable, because even though I've seen the theatre being built for, like, the past few months, it was just, like, it was the first time I'd seen it with all the, like, scaffolding down, like, partly, there's still a bit up, um, but it was just, like, it just didn't feel like it was actually there, and then, like, obviously, because it's such, like, a popular show there's not been that much promotion like around london like they have got now they have now got some posters on the tube and stuff but that's only popped up recently like there's not even any, any leaflets as far as i'm aware that they hand out because like it's basically fully booked <laughs> so it was just like kind of it kind of felt like it just popped out of nowhere and like oh my god it's actually in the west end so yeah we sat down and we was ready for the show <laughs> i also just want to mention just how stunning the theater looked like it actually felt like a different building compared to when billy elliot was there like they have honestly done such a good job with it the color scheme is like a gold color in general and when you first enter there's a beautiful chandelier on the ceiling and it was just so lovely like i feel like they've done really well with the design and everything and it looks like a completely different theater so i just want to like say well done to cameron mcintosh and his plans because it is really paid off <laughs> so i of course have to talk about this incredible cast i mean i I was so excited to see this show already but once we had the casting announcement I was freaking out because there's a lot of performers that I'm familiar with and obviously if you're a fan of performers it's so exciting to see them in different roles and yeah I'm gonna talk through that. <laughs> so we was lucky enough to see the debut of um, the alternate Hamilton and that is Ash Hunter and obviously everybody was only doing their fourth performance but it was his first so it was really exciting to be able to witness that and he did not let his nerves show at all and um, you can see his hands shaking a little bit during my shot bless him like you could tell that he was like giving it his all and you could see like the true excitement in his face like he was just so like excited to do this role especially at curtain call like his little smile like he honestly did amazing his voice was great his acting was so good because obviously Lin-Manuel Miranda he originated his own role <laughs> literally girls and so it's quite big shoes to fill but to me like he was just as good like he like literally earned that role <laughs> i was also really excited to see cleve september as well because i was a massive fan of in the heights and i saw it a lot um, during its west end run and i even went to the closing performance actually and lin manuel miranda himself surprised us and that was like the best night of my life like i'm not even gonna lie and um, i've vlogged it all so i'll put a link above if you want to see that cleve was playing john lawrence slash philip hamilton and he was so good like honestly like when <laughs> spoiler when he dies um <laughs> i was actually like a mess like i was just sat on the front row pretty much near breaking point and he was honestly so good and i said hello to him at stage door and when i told him that i saw him in, in the heights he called me family so i'm expecting a christmas card soon um <laughs> it was also lovely to see christine alada i think I'm ho hopefully i'm saying that right um to see her again because she played vanessa in in the heights and she was honestly so good like her voice is amazing and in this she's playing our favorite character peggy and she slayed um she actually tweeted something about a lot of um in the heights fans going to go see Hamilton already and shown their support and I was like that's me like honestly in the Heights family forever <laughs> I was also super excited to see Rachel Anger as Eliza because I saw her as Fontaine in Les Mis and she honestly is so good and obviously she's in the um, filmed version of the 25th anniversary of Miss Now Gone and her voice like 
feels so good. I mean, once again, going back to Philip Steph's scene, um, hair scream, like it honestly, um, it broke my heart. Um, and also, I just want to say that I'm loving the hairstyle choice I've gone for for Eliza because if you look at um, the original Broadway cast, um, Pippa, it, she kind of just had like some hair kind of pulled back in like a ponytail, I guess. But um, Rachel's kind of got like a real nice plait at the back, and it looks so pretty. And the costuming, <laughs> the costumes, like on first glance. Adam, I imagined like the Hamilton costumes to be quite simple like because they're doing like all the photos and stuff but up close they are so beautiful like there's so much like detail and everything and I, I was just like drooling over the beautiful dresses. <laughs> I must admit that one of my favourite members of the cast is definitely Jason Pennycook and he played um, Lafayette and oh my god he was hilarious like his facial expressions like he got like pretty much most of the laughs from the audience and he was just like, every time he was on the stage, like my mouth just like <laughs> broke into an even bigger grin. Like he was honestly so good. Um, he was just like, I think he just really stood out. You know when there's a character that really stands out? Um, that was him. <laughs> we of course can't forget King George, who also obviously got a lot of laughs from the audience. And um, I actually got a message weirdly um, from one of my American friends, like saying, don't let the portrayal of King George um, kind of offend you. And I was just like, we don't care. Like, we're not as sensitive as you'd think about like our royal history. To be fair, I didn't even know much about King George before Hamilton. But yeah, I guess it's kind of different, isn't it, when it's like a British audience. But I mean, like, I'm assuming most people apart from some tourists were British in the audience and everybody was laughing. Like, we don't care. We find it hilarious. And also, um, just to point out, they have done a few lyric changes, which I read something about in a Facebook group. Um, because I believe it's during um, the line where Ham Hamilton says John Adams doesn't have a real job anyway and um, he actually says vice president isn't a real job anyway or something along those lines and I think that's like I've read the discussion and stuff and I think it's purely because we don't know much about American history so people might not be as familiar as to who John Adams is and it just kind of made more sense to clarify the talking about the vice president or you know, just little things like that, but there wasn't many others I picked up on. So it is basically the same as the Broadway cast recording from what I can tell apart from the little changes. We also had Rachel John who played Angelica and she was so good, like her voice was amazing. I actually think my favourite scene in the full show was um, Satisfied because obviously like it's the whole like rewind, like the going back in time. And seeing that in person, it's so clever because you can see like how purse for purse and um, it's literally like recreating the scene that's just happened in Helpless, but obviously you're seeing it from a different perspective. And it was just so clever how they did that. Like I honestly, that was such like a stunning scene to view. And also I want to say about how like the orchestra were amazing. Like it sounds stupid, but during, um, I'm trying to think of um, maybe the Battle of Yorktown, like quite a few songs where like you kind of get like the boom kind of effect. Like they had this effect and it like proper like gave you like goosebumps. Like it was, the sound quality was amazing. I mean, we were quite like right next to the orchestra, so maybe that's why it felt extra intense, but it was really good. <laughs> I don't want to miss anybody out, but obviously like the cast in general, like the ensemble, like you could tell that obviously it's all still fresh material to them, so they're also super excited. Like just the, in the background, you can see like they're constantly like acting, like the dancing, like just everything. It was just beautiful. And um, one ensemble member who like stood out to me was the guy who played um, Charles Lee. So he kind of did like a lot of ensemble work, but also like has a character name, I guess. Um, let me get his name. We actually met him at um, stage door. <laughs> Apparently he's called Leslie Garcia Berman. And he was just really funny. Like he plays Charles Lee. So when he was like, I'm a general, wee, like it was just really funny. Like he stood out. We also got to quickly say hello to Ash as well, because I, d I wasn't sure if he'd really come out of stage door because with it being his debut and it's a double show day, like a lot of people might like choose to stay, stay in the theatre basically and kind of chill out and celebrate but he came out and he was so lovely so we got a little photo of him and he signed and everything and it was just so good. <laughs> I don't think I have time to like list through everybody really but like this cast it, it was just everything I imagined and more and um, Aaron Bear he was obviously like a star of the show and um, I really liked his um the room where it happens I think that along with satisfied were my two favorite scenes like I mean the power he had singing the room where it happens it was honestly so good like you know when people just have that stage presence like he was amazing <laughs> after the one hour merch queue I actually managed to buy some things so I of course got the program which I actually bought at the bar whilst in the merch queue because you could buy this from the bar so that's a good tip for anybody if you want to maybe just get a program you don't have to wait in the merch queue you can just go to the bar and um, so yeah that was four pounds and it actually is pretty pretty decent I think it's got quite a lot of information there's a full section about um, Cameron McIntosh and the theatre renovation and it kind of tells you about how he came about 
bringing Hamilton to London because originally he was going to maybe revive um, Oliver or Mary Poppins in that theatre and I think we all agree that this was a better option. <laughs> I actually got all my merch in this bag and I was really excited about this because not many theatres really do like um, carrier bags that have like the logo of the show or anything so I'm quite I'm quite excited about this I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna keep this safe and um, so it was um there was also some tote bags I believe like actual like bag for life reusable bags you could buy I believe they were eight pounds which a bit steep in my opinion if it is just a bag so I was quite happy to get the paper bag because I found that exciting. <laughs> when it comes to the actual um, like t-shirts and stuff I wanted the classic logo tee but um because my friend Jade she bought a hoodie so she got the black hoodie with the gold logo on and it actually said on the sleeve it said um, Hamilton London so I thought oh I'll get the t-shirt version because I really liked it but it turns out the t-shirt version does not have the little um, London Hamilton thing and I kind of wanted something that was specific to this production because I could like buy the Broadway merch online if I really wanted and stuff like they have it on the official app and everything so I um, ended up getting the only top that you actually is unique to London and that is this one and I was a bit unsure at first because on the photos I thought it was black but then in person it was navy blue and even though it was in the queue for an hour once you got to the queue it was like under pressure you had to decide right then and there and um, but I think I've made the right choice like I do really like it so it's got all the stars on and it's got like the figurines of different characters and then it, on the back it says London which I really wanted I don't know why I just wanted something that said London so I'm really happy with that. So yeah, it was £25, which I don't think is that bad, to be honest. Um, if I got the <laughs> if I got the logo tee, they actually do a youth version for £20. And if I did get it, I was tempted to ask, like, can I have a look at, like, the largest youth size you've got just to see? Um, so that might be a tip for someone if you, like, maybe, like, think you can fit into the large youth. But I never actually got to look at it, so I'm not sure how big the sizes go, whether youth's just children or if it means, like, teenagers. But... Yeah, just an idea. <laughs> I also, of course, bought a mug because I'm a bit of a sucker for theatre mugs. I do collect them. And this was £12. And once again, I'll give them points for their packaging because you get a nice box and it says Hamilton, an American musical on the back. Um, so it doesn't say the London thing. But I was quite impressed with the box because I, I believe that most theatres, if you get a mug, you don't get anything really. They just give you a mug in hand. So it was nice that you had a bit of packaging. And I've not actually opened this properly yet, but... <laughs> Ooh, lab opening. Um... Yeah, so it's a gold mug and it's got stars all on and I actually really liked it. I thought it was quite different and stuff. Um, so it was worth it to me. So it was £12 and that will be going either on display on my shelf or I'll use it if I'm feeling brave enough. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with my mug. So that's actually all I bought and um, my friend Jade got quite a few more bits. She got um, a shot glass, which I believe was £5 and it says I'm not throwing away my shot, which is pretty clever. And then I think she also got the um, Hamilton mixtape CD, which actually I think is quite pricey. It's... um. Let me have a look on my little list I've got here. <laughs> um, it's £20, which I don't know, I think it's a bit pricey. It's £20 for the mixtape CD and it's £25 for the original cast recording of Broadway, which I think is a bit pricey to be honest for a cast recording. But you know, like, just for your information, that's how much it is there if you want to buy it. So I think that's about everything I wanted to say. Um, just to kind of run through a few of the tips that I, I would suggest for anyone who's going, I would say definitely do listen to the email and try and get there at least an hour before. Um, I think they open the doors about one-ish for like a matinee, so I'd assume that they'll open the doors about 6 p.m. for an evening. Um, and then obviously just head straight to the merch queue. Like it might die down eventually because um, it's still previews and stuff, but if you want merch, just go there straight away because the interval might be more stressful because it was quite a short interval if I do remember correctly it didn't feel that long and then also um just make sure you've got all your information like make sure you've definitely got some form of ID and um, your card you've paid with for your tickets and the confirmation email which um I think maybe the original would do but if you've um if you've also gone through the problem of me where you've had a cancelled performance because when I actually showed the woman woman my um, email she directed me to the um other entrance where my original tickets were and um, so I think either would actually work as long as they just know that it's an official confirmation email and you've showed your card and everything so yeah if you've managed to get in get your merch and then just sit down and enjoy the show and honestly you're gonna have the time of your life if you've got tickets like I really want to go again but I don't know how to go about getting them um, I know a lot of people surprisingly have managed to get last minute returns and stuff and some people keep checking the Ticketmaster website and things appear which actually shocks me quite a bit especially because like people who had cancelled performances have really been struggled to get a rearranged performance and stuff so if you keep an eye out I'm sure you can get a good offer and there's also the lottery on the app which is a £10 lottery which sounds amazing and um, obviously you've got quite slim chances to be honest but you do get 
given notice about a day before so it gives you a chance to kind of sort out arrangements to actually get down there if you live a little further out. I don't know where you'll end up sitting if you won the lottery but for £10 I don't think anyone can complain so honestly it's worth a go and we did, we did actually enter to see if we could get it for the um, evening that night but I think it was a bit ambitious because we did not win. <laughs> and then also if you want to stage door they do actually have barriers in place and um, which only I mean I know on Broadway I've seen videos and stuff I've seen crazy like loads of people like going to stage door and it's quite normal to have barriers but here the only one I can think of where they have barriers is Dream Girls, which was mainly when Amber Riley was in it and also Wicked they sometimes have some barriers out so yeah um, just to kind of give you an idea that it's obviously a more busier stage door and um, so there is like a system in place and just be respectful and obviously normal stage door um, etiquette. <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful because I know a lot of people were a little bit confused or just curious in general about the ticketing system and just getting in and then navigating everything and um, so I hope it has helped and um, if you have any more questions don't hesitate to comment below because I would happily reply and help with however I can and if you have tickets to see Hamilton in London let me know because I would love to share your excitement and talk all things about the cast like it's honestly I feel like we've got something so special here I'm really like I feel like we're really lucky to actually be able to get this production because there's so many shows that go to Broadway and you just don't know if it's gonna ever really make it to the West End and it's actually happened and to think that I've actually seen it in previews like I'm honestly like so I'm just like I feel really lucky like I've obviously waited a long time to see it and stuff but I know a lot of people even if they were doing the pre-booking they haven't managed to get performances until the new year so yeah it's it's really exciting that I've actually managed to go <laughs> So that was my experience seeing Hamilton and it was honestly one of the best days of my life. Like I got to celebrate my birthday with some of my closest friends, seeing a show that I've only dreamt of seeing. So I do honestly like highly recommend this production. It was honestly one of the best pieces of theatre the West End currently offers. <laughs> but if you do like theatre content in general, I do have a lot of that on my channel. Um, I vlog a lot of my trips when I go to the West End to see shows and also UK tours. Um, so do subscribe if you're interested in any of that. And I will be doing a video soon talking about my stagey highlights of the year. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and thank you so much and bye for now. <laughs>